Hello everybody, my name is Naya and I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers and today we are talking about reasons to become a software engineer now. Right now. So let's get to it. <laughs> First of all, if you're looking for a sign to become a software engineer, you've been doing your research, looking at different videos, treat this as your sign. Just do it. If you have been doing all this work, all this research, you're obviously interested. And so really just take that leap and yeah, just, just go for it. But if you need more convincing, then we can start with one. You have the ability to transfer your work into your own business. If you are the type of person who has that mentality of, I will not be working for another person for the rest of my life, not, not for X amount of years, I want to just work and then do my own business, well, coding, development, engineering is a great way to do that because you can learn and then work for a company for three to five years, really soak in that knowledge, soak in that skill, soak in that network, and then go off and do your own thing. You don't even need a team, to be honest. Like if you are willing to grind and if you have a certain timeline that you're willing to work with, you really don't need a team. It can be you, yourself, and your thoughts just cranking it out and creating an amazing business. That business could be freelancing or it could be developing a new app, a new technology for this country, for this world to see. You do not need to be stuck to a desk working for Johnson Johnson & Johnson Incorporated for the rest of your life. You really are free to, after some time, after you see the time is right, to take what you've learned and build your own empire. The second reason to become a software engineer is because it is both technical and artistic. This is something that I really liked. I'm a person who loves getting to the nitty gritty, loves being detail oriented and you know, problem solving and looking at data and things like that. But also I like being artistic. I love, you know, playing guitar and I love, you know, listening to music, dancing, singing, like all of these different artistic things. And coding for me is something that really, really combines these two things into one perfect child where where there's the problem solving aspect because you're trying to see how to best run your app how to best problem solve but also with the artistic you don't even need to be a front-end developer to feel like you're being artistic because the artistic part if you're not front-end developer comes from the finding and creating of these solutions to problems that you've never seen before but you were able to mix things together in such a way that you were able to make things run and so with this you feel like an artist you really do you feel like an artist creating something from nothing making something work when previously it didn't now if you're a front-end developer the artistic part is more obvious because you get to play around with colors and shadings and design and user experiences and flows and is just again also a very can be a very beautiful experience if you like it and if you let it be and so because of this it actually goes into my third point it ends up being a really fulfilling career you oh my goodness today i was actually very happy today because because i was able to fix a couple of bugs i was having and when i did when i clicked refresh on that page and everything popped up like it was supposed to i was like yeah like i actually end up audibly saying yeah or like fist pumping and honestly thank goodness i work from home because i don't know if that will change once i'm in the office i don't know we'll see but yeah it's such a fulfilling career one that self-satisfaction when you get something right when you fix something and two when you know that you're creating something for the greater good when you are creating something that users actually will interact with that the community will actually get to see that just feels so good the fourth reason to become a software engineer specifically in 2021 is because you don't need a computer science degree you don't need one. i'm not saying don't get one this is not i i no i'm not saying that but if you are let's say you're 18 years old right now you are trying to figure out if college is worth it because it's online and it costs fifty thousand dollars or you know you want to be a front-end developer and so college doesn't really teach that much front-end material anyway and seeing how you can develop outside of college you don't need a degree 
You don't. The world's largest companies, they will hire developers simply on merit and skill. They don't need to see a degree from you because they know that some of the most skilled developers that they have and are in this world don't have that. Google actually used to have a requirement of a degree before you applied to their jobs, but they realized they were missing out on such amazing talent by doing that. They actually dropped that requirement. And so just to show you, I'm not saying that, oh, companies don't require a degree and it's just the startup. Like, no, top companies, top companies don't need to see a degree from you. What they need to see from you is skill. Now, whether or not you can truly get that skill without a degree, without a boot camp, without a program, a X, Y, and Z, that is a conversation for you because people learn different ways. I personally am not a person who can just teach myself. I wish, I really wish I was like, oh my goodness, the money I would save. I really wish I was and see if you are too. But if you're not, there's nothing wrong with getting that degree, getting that boot camp, getting that certificate, but you don't need one. You don't need outside credentials. All you need is that skill and that portfolio showing how skilled of a developer you are. The fifth reason is because software engineering allows you to be insanely mobile. If you want to live in Mumbai for the next two years, go. You will find a job you will find you best you will find a job and so it becomes less of a concern or less of a question of where you want to be and where the job is and having to you know find the happy medium of those but really just where do you want to live okay so now get the job and so it creates this possibility for just a happier life because you are where you want to be you're not where you are because the job took you there maybe the job did take you there but honestly if you don't need to be there if you don't want to be there you could find a software engineering role a developer role somewhere else around the country around the world and so it allows this flexibility for your life that can really just contribute to just such a much better state of living knowing that you have full control of where you are when you are etc and related to that number six you can be also remote you don't need to quit that job to go to mumbai but you could be a remote worker and work for XYZ company while actually not being in that office, while being at home a block away or while being at home a continent away. You can be remote. Now, whether or not your boss will allow it is a different conversation. I think that's a conversation that is a lot more possible to have now because since the world was forced to be remote, now companies have integrated systems that maybe they didn't have before. And when we, if we, I mean, oh God, hopefully <laughs> one day, if we can get back into normalcy again and companies are allowing people to work in office again, if you want, to be somewhere else hopefully now it won't be a problem because they have the systems in place from the panoramic of 2020 to 2021 so that is another reason to become a software engineer and the last reason to become a software engineer is the pay it comes it goes without saying the pay can be quite nice the benefits can be quite nice and it can allow you flexibility to just live the type of life you want the average salary in the united states goes from anywhere between 65,000 and 165,000 according to salary.com that is a big range a big big range but typically you can find yourself in the nice medium in between there on top of that after just a year or two of working your first developer job you will have recruiters knocking down your door and so if you are on that lower end at first don't sweat it within one to two years you will have recruiters knocking down your door companies knocking down your door wanting you and you will shoot up your salary like crazy the amount your salary goes up every time you make a switch is insane in the development field and so remember that and yeah Again, if you need a reason, if you need a sign, let this be the sign. Please subscribe. I love seeing this channel grow. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, so please, please help me out and get to that 1,000. But I'm looking forward to seeing y'all soon. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, y'all.